Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is NS. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people are not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe actually you, do, you should now, because if you don't, you lose. Now is a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique and professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or paying those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, now that you better judge, now I respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again one request which is how to add the search bar instead of the search icon on the new Horizon team on Shopify. Because I already made this video for down team, but people keep requesting it, how to do it on Horizon. They have different architect and so on. So here it is, I'm doing it for you now. So in this video, as I said, I will show you how to have the search bar and not any search bar that can do the job. It's actually, it looks very good and it suits the design, so no worries. All my videos are actually like that. I don't do things, I don't show things that will just do the job. I make sure that it's actually visually appealing. Because when it comes to Shopify and, shop and e-commerce in general, design plays a very, very big role. Otherwise, you will not make sales. So I got you, no worries. As I said, the search bar looks very good and attractive and it suits the design. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it and show you that in action. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video I add small customizations, but video like 60 or 70, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out this all in one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Facebook, Google, Amazon, Etsy, all in one place and it's filterable. Or even better, check out this recent sales notification as you can see by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable and by using your own custom code. Or you wanna make more money? or actually raise the conversion rate, check out this one. So this is the mouse cursor, right? I would act just like I wanna leave, close the page, and this thing will show up, which is an abandoned pop-up, abandoned cart, sorry, pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And this is by using your own custom code and it will not show up if you don't have uh, a product added to the cart. And a checkout button, of course, so you can check out and pay you the money he owes you. And all of this again, by using your own custom code. Now we'll quit now, I promise. So let me close this actually. And as you can see, we will do demonstration on Horizon because this is down team and it's already full of stuff. Everything in here has been done in tutorials. So if you saw anything that you like, just check out the channel, it's already posted. Let's just close this one and access uh, Shopify Horizon team. And if we click on preview here, you can see, as you can see, it has a search bar, a search icon, sorry. And there is no way on the team editor that you can enable the search bar, only search icon. No worries, I got you in this video. I will show you how to do that by using your own custom code. So you don't have to wait for Shopify to add features for you. No worries, I got you. And by the way, I just did a video on how to add the shiny percentage on the sale badge. Yeah, I did that for free again. So I will quit now again, I promise. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are in Shopify dashboard, click on all ISO, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on left to customize and click on edit code. But for me, I'm gonna do it in here for Horizon team. So I'll click on edit code, then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find a specific file. Instead of clicking at the folders and files like this, you might get dizzy. Use the search bar at the top left corner and simply search for search. <laughs> that's, that's funny, search for, oh, oops. I did lock the computer, here it is. So search for search, the word search, and you will see multiple files actually. We need to find, we need to find uh, a file inside the folder snippet. As you can see, this folder is snippet, as you can see. And below it, there is many files that has the name search, and there is this one, search.liquid. This one, make sure to access this one, search.liquid in the folder snippets. That's very important. Once you found it inside the folder snippets, click on it, bunch of code will show up in here. No worries, the next thing you're going to do is scroll down the description box and you will see a link, my website, simply click on it and it will open up 
this website right here and after you did access the website just scroll down a little bit and you will see some code in here and i know you guys lazy you don't want to keep selecting stuff simply use the search the icon in here at the top right corner and click on it and it will copy the whole code then get back in here then click on the code just like you want to write something then don't on your keyboard if you are using windows click on Control a i'm on mac i'm going to click on command a and it will highlight the whole code in here and simply delete it then passing the code from my website that we did copy right now. Simply pass it in here. Now we're done. As you can see, you can do this even if you're like five years old. Just copy and paste, copy and paste. Then click on save. Wait for a couple of seconds. We'll get back in here. Let's just reload the page and see what that will do. As you can see, now it just uh, search icon. Let's just reload the page. And here it is. Check it out as you can see. And it suits the design. As I said, I don't just do this just the, to do the job but i actually make this uh, make things visually appealing as you can see it looks good and it suits uh, the design and if i scroll down as you can see it works just fine let's just search for this one actually anchor bracelet so let's just search for anchor and here is as you can see it so it works just fine and it works with the uh, the functionality of the search on horizon team and that's how you add the search bar instead of the search icon on Horizon Team. And if you have any video requests, because this is actually a request, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to do a video for you as well. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.